In this video, I'm going to explain how you can create an NFT collection on Solana. And that includes creating a wallet, interacting with Solana, creating NFT art based on different layers, creating a website that people can uh, use to mint, just, the, just like the one you have uh, right now on the screen that you can look at, and explaining everything in between. This is part of the tutorial that I'm doing, so uh, you're going to see the code for that, but if you want to have a more advanced code, then I invite you to join my uh, tutorial, where you also will have access to the private Discord. I think this, is, this has the biggest value. The tutorial is right now live you will see the link down below in the description uh, but i'm going to give you the code uh, for the basic part anyway uh, the tutorial is really great but there's also discord as i've mentioned that you can join for solana developers and you get access to it right after uh, joining the tutorial so let's get started and i'm going to show you what you can do to actually build the nft collection on solana from scratch basically we're going to build a website like that. Uh, there are a couple of parts that I've mentioned, basically creating a Solana wallet and interacting with Solana blockchain, uh, creating NFTs with metadata, and then deploying an NFT collection on Solana, and finally creating a simple website where, where people can uh, buy your NFT, mint your NFT. Uh, this is basically the basic order. So for the first point and creating a Solana wallet, uh, this is something I've mentioned already when it comes to uh, meme coins. Uh, you can have a look there or go directly to uh, installing the Solana toolkit. So you will need to have a Solana CLI commander uh, Tool, command tool interface basically that will allow you to uh, interact with uh, command line guide that will allow you to interact with the Solana. So this is the way to, to go with it. Uh, it's easy to actually install with this one command. If you are on Windows, then your commands will be a little bit different. I will follow here Mac and Linux guides. So you have that down below. Uh, this is the, the, there will be a link to that page as well. This is on my blog post. Uh, you basically have this command here for install, the second command here for installing the Solana toolkit. This will allow you to install Solana and you can check the version. Another thing that you will need is installing Sugar. Uh, from Metaplex. Sugar is the newest version of Candy Machine. If you heard about Candy Machine already, uh, basically it allows you to create NFT collections and Sugar is the latest installment. Uh, uh, Sugar is basically an easy way to upload NFTs, to create um, uh, everything on chain and create an easy smart contract that you really don't have to know much about. Uh, this is a simple standard version of NFT smart contract that Sugar will create for you. Again, installing Sugar is pretty straightforward. There's one command that you will have here. You can check then the version of, uh, of Sugar that you have installed. Uh, one comment here is that uh, I recommend you do that with bash command and uh, install that in this way uh, because then you will be able to choose the version. And then I prefer to have Candy Machine version 2, so legacy version, not the version 3 because uh, version 3 does not work with some of the features for, for the website. So that's why I recommend the legacy version. You will be able to choose that in the installation if you choose this installation. So uh, Sugar itself uh, works here. Uh, you can see that on Metaplex Dex docs uh, you can see quite a lot about the info about the candy machine version 3 and version 2 but the important part here and the thing that i recommend is actually going with version 2 this is the simplest things so you have the code here now I have already explained in, a, uh, in how to create a, wa a new uh, wallet and how to interact with uh, when it comes to the meme coin guide. However, you usually can create a new uh, key generator uh, using the key generator you can create a new wallet or import the wallet from your phantom if you want to uh, and configure uh, basically uh, in CLI command line interface, uh, configure that uh, in, uh, in, in, your in your command line. So this is important stuff here if you want to interact with Solana blockchain. Now, we're going to the NFT part. So basically, if you know, uh, NFTs are all about having different layers, especially if you want to have, for example, a large collection of like 5,000 elements, then what you're trying to achieve is uh, have uh, all those elements uh, 
in one place and generate them, have them with the metadata. And what I would recommend is going actually with this Metaplex uh, assets first. So if you download that, uh, there will be basically different numbers uh, on different colored backgrounds. This is basically what you see here uh, on this website I've created for minting. Basically, this is one of the NFTs. So you have 0001 on a green background uh, that you can mint. Uh, of course, here mint is random. Uh, you can still have like four remaining uh, means at the price of zero one, but you get a random number with uh, a random background. Uh, so this is basically it. Uh, this is what you get if you download this and basically you can go through the descriptions then and see how it goes. Uh, if you want to create something similar, if you want to create a, a, a bigger collection and you don't know how, then I would recommend going with uh, Hashlips engine. I will explain that in a moment. Uh, assuming that you already have the metadata and you already have the NFTs, then actually you can now set up everything with Sugar. So actually deploying NFTs uh, on, uh, on uh, storing them online and then uh, creating a smart contract is as simple as running Sugar Launch. If you if you click on Sugar, if you type Sugar Launch in your terminal, then basically uh, you'll be able to modify everything. Here, the important part again, you have to have the version, the Sugar version number one, which goes to Candy Machine version version two, because then you will be able to modify things like price right away. And this is what I prefer to do as well. Uh, so again, if you launch Sugar Launch, you'll be asked a bunch of questions like, for example, what's the price of NFT? Who's the creator? What's the seller's fee? How you want to store your NFTs? Then you probably should choose Piñata. Uh, Piñata is a storage uh, solution that uh, that's free, but there are a bunch of others. You can store it on uh, Bundler, uh, AWS, and a couple of other things as well. Now, going through all these steps with Sugar Launch, in your terminal will give you a candy machine ID. This ID is then used to basically give to the website. Now, uh, there's a UI that you can use, meaning user interface that's free to use. Again, coming from Metaplex, then you can just clone with uh, git clone candy machine and then start to modify. So if you want to have the website that, like, that I have showed you in the beginning, then basically all it takes is uh, taking this uh, initial website. The initial website will be just the button for minting without any uh, images or without any titles. Uh, I give the title in a, uh, in a tutorial that I've mentioned. So if you want to have all the code for that, uh, just go directly to the tutorial. Uh, other than that, you can uh, modify everything yourself. If you modify index.tsx, if you modify that file, then in Re React, you can basically add all the features, all the buttons that you want, uh, and you'll be good to go. Once you modify it, then simply go with yarn install, uh, add the end file, and uh, modify the end file to add basically the details uh, onto your candy machine, who's the creator, and that's it. After going with yarn start, you'll be able to start the website and you will have it on your computer. Now, if you want to uh, deploy the website, then of course, go with Vercel. Uh, so Vercel is uh, a free server where you can deploy React apps and other apps as well. Uh, Vercel is free and uh, the link will be down below in the description as well if you want to, uh, or you can find it here uh, in this guide. Now, we're going to come back to how to create NFT uh, PFP collection. So a huge issue might be creating the art, uh, as I've mentioned, and there are three uh, different ways. Now, if you want to create generatively using layers, then basically, because you basically have layers for like bodies, eyes, hats, hands, and so on, and you want to pick randomly, then basically uh, this is how you create usual collections depicting a person or an animal, then there are three ways. Either you can do everything manually, uh, basically adding together. That makes sense if you have a small collection, if you have like 100 elements, then you can modify metadata and also modify the art manually. But if you have uh, more than that, uh, for example, you want to create a 5,000 elements collection, then there's no way you can modify everything manually and you have to, have to go with some kind of a code. Either you can go with custom Python code. This is what I give you in a tutorial, but also I explain how you can use Hashlips Art Engine. Hashlips Art Engine is basically the free art engine that's uh, available on GitHub. The link is also in the blog post uh, and you can go with, uh, with that. They explain how you can, for example, create uh, those kind of eyes uh, from different elements. 
This is simple to use. The only remark here is that it doesn't work well with Max uh, M1s. So M M2s should be already fine. And before previous Macs should be fine as well. Also Windows and so on should be fine as well. Uh, this is due to the Node version I think being used. So if you have um, if you have Mac M1 version, you probably have to use a different way to generate art. For example, this custom Python code I have in a tutorial. Uh, but other than that, Hashlips is pretty uh, pretty easy to use. Uh, they give you everything how to, how to use it. Uh, basically, the usage here is all coming to how many layers you want. You can see that here that you have head, mouth, eyes, eyes were head were, and then you configure uh, the size of the edition, uh, how many NFTs you want to create, what's the format, what's the layer configuration, in what order you want to have them. So for example, background, eyeball, iris shine, bottom top, uh, and so on. So this is super cool easy to use. Uh, however, it's more complicated than having just a Python code. Uh, but if you have a more complicated art, that's definitely doing pretty well and you're getting your result. Uh, so this is, uh, this is really cool, available for free to anyone if you want to generate art. So this will give you also metadata that is easy to use uh, in a case of uh, Solana, but also this is, the art, this is the way to generate art on Ethereum or other blockchains as well. Uh, it's not really uh, blockchain specific. Uh, so this is really cool to know. That's basically it. So with Hashlips, you can generate the art, you have the output, everything is adjusted for Solana, uh, and then uh, you can create with this way you can create the website as I've mentioned I will provide the link down below but basically it's on my blog pccrypto.co available for free you have all the code available here uh, I'm going to add new stuff also here if you want to chat with us with the developer community uh, you you have to join the, the my tutorial which is a paid version but I think it's worth it and also it's a, a way to basically uh, gatekeep uh, the, the community knowledge and also have serious people within the community as well. Uh, that's it for creating a Solana NFT collection. If you have more questions, uh, I'm happy to answer them. And also I will provide more details in future videos because uh, of course this was super fast, uh, just, uh, just a dozen of minutes on how to create a Solana NFT collection. But if you want to really implement that from scratch, this will take you hours, if not days, to really do it, if it's especially your first time. So do not worry about it. Uh, it's, it might sound uh, intimidating at first, but it's really straightforward process when you, once you grasp the details. Uh, but basically, start with a simple art, do a simple collection, and then start to implementing tweaks and changes to that. So start with a 10 elements collections like the one I've mentioned here, which is available for free with all the arts, uh, and then do a much bigger collection, then only use hash lips and stuff like that to create a more advanced stuff. Also, if you're an artist, uh, let me know in the comments or contact me on Twitter. Happy to help here and uh, try to find something that you can do. Uh, Solana is really great as a blockchain, but still creating NFTs, uh, take some time to, to do that everything manually. Uh, you can of course try with going with Magic Eden uh, and do some of other tools that are going and are entirely codeless. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, see you in the next video.